Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining and for coming back. This is Joanna, Joanna the Medium and your Intuitive Coach. Just very quickly, these are going to be your October uh, readings. I use different cards, uh, sometimes different decks in different readings. Always remember these are general readings, so if you would like a private session, that information is down below for you. Also, if you would like to have the long-term forecast from July until the end of the year, you can do so, or you can purchase uh, those videos in my on my video page or Vimeo page, and that information is also down below for you. Um, I don't think I have anything that is pressing other than thank you so much for watching, for liking, and for sharing. I always want to make sure that I say this first and foremost, because without you, I wouldn't be doing this. And... Um, Remember that these messages are general, like I said, and they may not apply to all of you. Some messages may apply to some of your, some of you. Um, some messages may apply to different parts of your life or a little bit of my message may apply to some of your life. So take what makes sense and discard what doesn't. But always remember, it is almost always these messages never make sense at the beginning of a month and they almost always make sense towards the end of the month and the beginning of the next month, which would be November uh, for this um, for this series. So also listen to your moon sign and your rising sign as these may offer you greater clarity. And I think that's all I have. Enjoy these videos and I look forward to hearing from you. And if you wish to book a reading with me, that information is down below for you. Thank you so much and I will see you soon. Hello, beautiful Virgos. This is going to be your reading for the month of August, October 2017. I've been stuck on August for some reason. Uh, lots of interesting energies here. I feel many of you have gone through some endings in the last little while. And it feels like the month of October is going to be a bit of an escape month or a month of transitions. Yes, but also a month of needing some... Um, much needed rest and peace. So let me just go through some of the channeled information that I received. One of the things that was that came to me very clearly was uh, this is going to be a time where you will need to create a lot of pay, pay, peace for yourself. And the card, act, the card actually came up as well a little bit later on. So this is a month potentially for you creating peace or a month where you need to find some peace around you and within you. I also felt that this is going to be a, a, a time of rest and I heard finally after hard work. So, uh, but the hard work felt it was to do with endings. Um, and it could be that you were working really hard at your work because you were trying to complete a project. You were working on a relationship really, really hard. And now it came to a point where you need rest or there was a finality with something that you worked so hard on and now finally you have released yourself from it. And the month of October is going to be predominantly a time of rest. I also heard that for some of you, um, this uh, there was a breakup and you have been going through it and the exhaustion is catching up to you or has caught up to you. And this will be a month of great relief. So many of you will be experiencing a lot of transitions, which is not unusual based on what I have been seeing um, with the with the with all the with all the signs. Almost every sign has an aspect of transition going um going through it and that's not a bad thing transitions are good so that's what i heard breakup could also be you broke away from a situation that wasn't serving you and now you're going to be working on conserving your energy for the month of october i want to say october november december for the rest of the year actually but much of that is because of what you have endured in the last few months particularly Again, I'm being drawn to the month of August. There was another sign that I was drawn to the month of August for, for some reason. Um, and there's a much needed rest or much awaited rest, much awaited, much needed rest that is required, um, that will be uh, available to you or that is required in the month of October. 
man, with all these other months I want to talk about. Let me just see if there's anything else. The other thing that I heard was that conditions are not conditions are not quite right for you trying something new or you tr uh, starting something new. And this is particularly for those of you who are contemplating starting starting a brand new relationship, romantically speaking. For, so for those of you who are in a dating scene, it feels that there is a bit of time energetically speaking um because i'm being shown a broken show uh, shown a broken heart it means that you are in a point of your life where you are energetically and emotionally not quite ready and ripe in order to start a relationship that would be mutually beneficial to you so uh this you know this will resonate for those of you who get it and for those of you who makes no sense it won't resonate with you particularly those who have their heart broken, who have had their hearts broken, which in all honesty, we all had uh, at some point, but this is in the last little while. And because you are going through a time of transition, it is important for you to know that sometimes jumping into a brand new relationship right away is not going to be um, very fruitful because the conditions aren't ripe yet for you to be in a brand new relationship. So either the person will get cold feet or you'll get cold feet and it's just, it's not going to work. So th this is for those of you who are obviously looking to hook up with somebody. And I mean, hook up one time. I mean, I don't mean that. I mean, if you're looking for long-term partnership or relationship, this can also signify those of you who are looking for change in your work environment because you have had your heart broken and that means you have your hopes um, thrown down the drain and you're feeling you're no longer a match with where you are, this may not be the best time for you to try something new. So it is, it is best for you to rest in the month of October and even November and see if you can find, um, and then see if you can find a better alternative for your situation. Also, I always say that if you're in a position where you're being abused uh, or uh, of, of any sort or in any shape, way or form, never, ever, ever wait, do what's necessary for you to do. But that's not going to apply to obviously all of you here. Is there anything else here? Um, okay. The other thing I saw is that many of you are starting a brand new journey. It was shown to me symbolically, you stepping onto a brand new bridge. This bridge is white, which means it's divinely ordered, but it is at the very beginning of its, uh, of its journey. So you're very much in, many of you are in transitions. And what did I see? Uh, beginning of a brand new journey, yes, in life. And some of you may not know exactly where you're going, and this is going to require some trust on your part. So for those of you who have started a brand new journey, either through a breakup or you having left some situations that were no longer a match for you, you may not have any visibility towards where you're going or even what you want uh, right now, anything in, you know, in particular. And that's okay. This is, this is a time for you to rest. Very, very important. So now I'm going to go on with cards. The card that came for you when I asked for the overall energies for the month of October is the Four of Pentacles. So there's not a lot of action going on here. This is more a time for putting forth brand new, brand new formations, brand new structures. It is connected to the physical aspect of our life. So it is financials, obviously it's relationships. It, yes, it can be health. And it's very much a time of transition. You see this person is looking at this mountain. This mountain to me represents an obstacle or a challenge. So he's facing it. He's facing the mountain meeting. He's going to eventually climb up that mountain. He doesn't really want to. It's not something he is thrilled to do, but situation has situations has transpired such that he is now facing this and that's just the way he is. But I always say, look at this, his body, because it's a male in this case. He has the strength and the endurance and the skill to be able to do this. So just because you're in a situation where you feel like, oh my God, why am I, why am I facing this again? You can do this. And stability is very much 
underneath all of this is th there's very much this is about stability this is about you creating a brand new stability for yourself whether it be financially whether in a relationship whether health health wise uh friendships family whatever it may be this is you putting structures and new formations in order to allow new formations take place so in plain english what i'm trying to say is that this is a month where you will be putting in brand new foundations in your life this may come with thoughts this one may come with you doing certain things to prepare for what is next but there doesn't seem to be a lot of doing here this is more a contemplative time rather than an action oriented time but i also feel you have had a lot of action that you just came from so this is very much a much needed rest period after hard work so that's the overall energy then i said okay show me what are they facing two cards popped up one is the card of peace in reverse or in protection the other one is card of serendipity which is good luck so basically what the card says the card of peace in this position basically says this is time for you to find inner peace despite the fact that the conditions around you may not feel very peaceful again the word transition comes in for those of you who are in transitions you may not feel very peaceful you may actually feel very apprehensive or actually quite agitated at the same time it feels like there is not a lot that you can do to change where you are other than let let, let it write it out that's what i want to say and the image is being given to me as a metaphor is that if you want to go um water surfing is that what it's called water surfing i think that's what's called you have to wait for the wave to come in in order to catch the wave you don't run into the wave it doesn't work that way so the conditions have to be right and you are creating your conditions in the month of october so there's much needed peace here but the peace has to come within so this is you trying to find you doing your best to find the peace within you despite a temporary setback which is due for many of you to transitions the other aspect of this message is with this card which is you are in the process of aligning yourself in the way that then the universe can bring you the best that it can in order to offer you brand new situations many of you have left situations that didn't serve you you are now finding yourself on a brand new journey for many of you not knowing what that is that journey the beginning of that journey is met with a contemplation period and a rest period in order for you to prepare for what's to come next in terms of the action aspect but it's very much shown here or the message is that by leaving what has been and is no longer you are actually aligning yourself with your higher purpose with your soul when we do that the universe will bring us exactly what we need at any given moment and when we find peace within we find that alignment uh, much more easily that's how i'm going to say so that's that's one message the next message was when i asked the question what is it that they have to focus on that they should focus on it's a very interesting card because it, this card is talk it's a never ending story and the card talks about the moment i see this card it talks it, i hear the words poor me be on a lookout for the poor me situation the poor me attitude we all go through certain aspects in our life that don't that didn't feel good those aspects have defined us in various ways and in many ways they allowed us to become very they allowed us to be much stronger individuals but the message of this card is you are not your story don't cling to your story and don't become your story your story is a part of your life 
but you are not it. So don't create your scenarios based on what has been, which is in some of you, with some of you, I hear the words poor me. So that's what I want to say. So this is this is for you to be on the lookout for, particularly because you are seem to you seem to be in a transition period. That's the best that I, that I can describe it. And you may not know where you're going. You may not know what is in front of you. You may not know what's next. And that can be very scary for most people. But always remember, when you give, give, give it some time and eventually it'll come to you. There is, there's a certain level of, I want to say maturing in this time. And what I mean by this is, Again, um, the image of a beautiful tree comes in. A mature, large tree will not be swayed with winds as a little tree that is not mature can be broken by the smallest of winds. So this is about you expanding, maturing, and getting ready for the next aspect of your life, which is the challenge. But that you know, this could be Mount Everest that you're trying to climb, and that actually would be something extraordinary. Uh, and you need to have the body, which, which means the endurance and the skill and the analytical ability in order to be able to climb this mountain. So there's something very sp special about this time. It's a time of rest. You've gone through something difficult. Now you've come out of it, potential, for many of you, exhausted. And this is a time for rest. And the rest may happen in October, November, and maybe even in December. And that's okay. I see brand new beginnings for you right after December, November, December, so closer to the new year. This is a time for rest. So while you're going through this rest, be careful that you don't cling to your stories. You don't cling to the old you. You don't cling to what has been. Rather, create new scenarios in your mind. Create new opportunities for yourself by not clinging to your past. And the other thing about the clinging is you separating yourself, and I see that as a Velcro, from old beliefs, from old ways of thinking about yourself, from old ways of denying yourself certain things because you didn't think you were worth it. Getting away from that identity, that identity of you that now belongs to the past. You are on a brand new journey. 10. The number 10 is being shown to me. It's your incompletions. You have completed uh, certain things. Some of you are still in a process of completion, but this is going to be a time of rest. So I'm going to stop repeating myself. I'm going to go on to the next card. And the next question was, what should they be on the lookout for? The high priestess came up and I thought that was quite beautiful because this is a card of higher awareness. This is a card of higher, higher consciousness. This is a hard, hard card of intuition. And I hear what's to look what's on the what's to be on the lookout for. Don't be swayed by your relentless chatter of your mind. This is a time for you to use your intuition as your greatest resource, greatest resource. It also says that the month of October would be very beneficial for you to spend in time of contemplation, to go to get deeper into the inner you to connect clearer or deeper with your intuition so that you will know where you will go next or well where to do next or the next steps this is also a message that you some of you may feel um an influx of psychic messages or intuitive messages you may be very psychic or very intuitive in the month of october and that's a very watery element to me your psychic ability may increase, which which is fantastic. And that often comes, I'll tell you one thing, for those of you who are um, experiencing intuitiveness to a brand new level, much of this often comes after a period of trials and tribulations. Oftentimes, when we go through difficult circumstances and then we break away from it clearing the old will also 
clarify, if you will, or crystallize our ability to feel our intuition in a much more clearer way. So don't be surprised if that happens, because many of you have gone through something traumatic, and when I say traumatic, it could be gazillion things, but I, I, I feel you walked away from something or you left something behind that was um, part of your life for quite some time. And in a way, you have cleared a path for yourself that you may not know where it's going to lead you yet. It certainly is leading you to a brand new beginning. The other thing I, he I see here is, let me just see what this is. I feel it's an eagle. Let me just see if it's an eagle. I can't really see very well. It looks like an eagle, but it could also be an owl. So eagle or an owl. I don't know for what, whatever you guys see here. It feels like an eagle or an owl or both. Well, owl is wisdom. And because it's high priestess, high priestess here, uh, there is a lot of wisdom with her, a lot of intuition, a lot of inner knowing, a lot of depth that is subconscious. Uh, the owl represents inner wisdom. So again, don't be surprised that in the month of October, as you go through the comp contemplation and completion process, your inner wisdom will be come up to surface. It'll give you guidance. You will feel guided by your inner intuition or your inner guidance. And that's a very, very positive sign. The next card you have when I asked for an additional message is the card of nurture. And this is a card of, uh, again, self-nurture, nurturing others, but it's also a card of self-nurture. So this message is basically saying this, take time to yourself to rest and tend to your needs first. Don't overcomplicate your life by matters and situations that don't concern you. In other words, avoid drama, avoid um, giving yourself away unnecessarily, avoid overspending your energy, avoid overgiving, avoid overextending. This is time for you to pull back and pull more towards you rather than give, 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 give. So this is very much about self-nurture rather than nurturing others it's more it, and self-nurture is oftentimes when we give 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 we become depleted you, many of you have given so much you had to end it and this is a time again for nurturing yourself which is also congruent with the word peace and i think that's all i have the number 15 just popped up in my mind i don't know what that means for you there's no 15 here anywhere no so see how if number 15 is somehow connected with you this could be 15 years or self something this could be the 15th of something there's something with the number 15 that might become very prominent and also i'm seeing the number seven which is seven all july so perhaps some of you ended something in july i think that's all i have thank you so much for watching listening and for subscribing and sharing i hope this makes sense and if it does you please let me know i can't talk please let me know um by commenting down below uh, these messages are general so they won't make sense to all of you certainly not all of you and they won't make sense at the beginning of the month probably so listen to it at the end of the month also listen to the other signs as they will offer you much more clarity and if you would like the private session to see how this fits with you that information is down below for you thank you so much i wish you best of luck and i look forward to seeing you again in november take care